Hello all and welcome to the session of question documents. Here in this video I am explaining about the forgery, its type and their examinations. So at first we can just go through an introduction about the question documents, what is question documents and how these documents can be called as question documents. So question documents. In forensic science, question document examination is the examination of documents in which their authenticity is disputed in the court of law. The primary purpose of a question document is to provide evidence about a suspicious or questionable document using scientific process and methods. Some common types of question documents that can be analyzed includes handwriting and signature on wills, suicidal notes, family custody documents, company agreements, loan documents, etc. These documents are analyzed in order to find out whether there is any kind of forgery of course. So yes, now we are on the topic of forgery. A forgery is the action of forging a copy or imitation of a document, signature, banknote or work of art. It is an illegal copy of a document, painting etc. or the crime of making such illegal copies. So now we can move to the types of forgery. There is a wide range of documents that can be forged, but some are more common than others. Some of the most type of forgery includes simple forgery, simulated forgery, traced forgery, and cut and paste forgery. So at first, we are going through simple forgery. A fraudulent signature in which there was no apparent attempt of simulation or imitation. The forger does not try to copy a model but writes something resembling we ordinary call a signature. For this simple forgery, the forger used a false name and make a rapid stroke distribution. Next comes the simulated forgery. A simulated forgery is one in which the attempt is made to copy or imitate the writing of another. The forger used to construct the original signature that may appear to the layperson as genuine. So the next type comes the traced forgery. In this type, the writer traces over a signature or other writing. This is the direct tracing method where the forger uses direct or original writing to trace without using any aid. So the next type of forgery is the cut and paste forgery. Cut and paste forgery is also known to be the transplanted forgery. Forgeries are done with the help of technologies comes under the transplanted forgeries. Here for the transplanted forgery, a cellophane sheet can be used. Here, the clear tape is used to lift off the signature then place it on the another document. The next topic comes the examination of forged documents. Investigation of suspected fake documents usually occurs in forensic scientific under criminal law as an evidence. For document examination, there are two types of examination that are carrying out. So the first one is general examination and the second one is special examination. So in general examination, general examination includes the handwriting characteristics. It includes the line quality, spacing, letter comparison, pen lift, connecting strokes, slant, diacritic placement, pen pressure, pen pause, etc. And coming to the special examination, the special examination includes the examination with instruments. It includes the analysis of sequence of stroke, indentation marks, obliterations, alterations, etc. So on concluding this topic, we can find out that the forensic handwriting examination involves a side-by-side -side comparison of questioned and known writing samples for the purpose of determining whether the questioned writing was written by the writer or the non-material. 